this, well, increasingly fractious negotiation over the Murray-Darling Basin plan between the states and the federal government. Joining me now is New South Wales Water Minister Melinda Pavey for more. Thanks very much for your time, Minister. Uh, you said after this meeting that you got an outcome. No more environmental water will come from New South Wales. What's the overall outcome? Is it other states picking up the slack or is it less environmental water going through the Murray-Darling Basin? There'll still be a lot of water going to the Murray-Darling Basin, um, particularly once the drought breaks, keeping in mind we're going to our third Christmas of massively below average rainfalls across New South Wales. Uh, but what we've said it, uh, today to, to the Ministerial Council meeting is simply we have no more water to give in New South Wales. The 450 gigalitres, uh, which uh, was a goal from 2012, simply can't be delivered by New South Wales. Now, given there was a decision at last year's Ministerial Council meeting that uh, it would have to meet social, economic and environmental um, tests, we cannot find that water anywhere. We're also very pleased today with the approach and the respect that the other states, particularly Victoria, had uh, for the drought that we are facing. It is a shocking drought, and which is why we're also going to come back in six months' time and reassess uh, the commitment to the 605 gigalitres in the sustainable diversion limits. That's another project in New South Wales. We're looking at exciting projects like the Menindee Lakes reconfiguration to stop wastage and evaporative losses. But we have to work with the Menindee community. I mean, it's a community that uh, needs that water for farming as well as social. It's the playground for Broken Hill. Just like the Lower Lakes is the playground for South Australia, we need to respect uh, those communities uh, around Broken Hill and their right to have a fish, to water ski and grow uh, product um, in what once was a very productive right. region. Everybody remembers and knows about the Menindee grapes. But this is the type of work okay. that we need to do because as New South Wales has been saying, it is not a plan set in stone, it's not static, it's got to move with the times, with the knowledge and the information but and what, the science okay, I'm we I'm just have. trying to ascertain what, what has moved, Minister. So you said there's still plenty of water going down the system. Is there less environmental flowage? Uh, is there less water going down as a result of what you've said today? It's not the states picking up the tab, it's less environmental flow for the river. Um, I think it's really important to understand that we are you know, the water that's there is there. But the water that was planned to go uh, is, not, uh, is not going, we're not, we can't find that 450 gigalitres. That was promised or that was committed to. That water is simply not there in New South Wales. We've given all that we can. And the work and the, and the modelling um, on the river constraints and the SDLs that we've done with Victoria also show some of those timelines uh, and the, are very big challenges to actually delivering that water down the system. So, look, I think there's been an appreciation here today because of the drought that we're facing uh, because of the full rivers that we've seen flowing down to South Australia, uh, which is counterintuitive to the drought that we're in. We've also decided as a ministerial mm. council uh, to write to the Environment Minister, um, to Susan Lee, to actually point out that the Commonwealth Environmental Water Holder needs to probably better engage with our state water agencies so we don't put at risk town water supplies uh, like we have done um, at Cowra and Forbes and Condobolin in the Lachlan Valley. So right. that's a really positive outcome. There's been some positive okay, I, I just, outcomes. People I, are listening. I just want to ask again, it, sorry, Minister, I'm just trying to clarify this situation just very directly. The water, the extra environmental flow, the 450 gigalitres, is not coming from New South Wales. So that's not going down the river system now full stop. The, the states aren't going to have their own increased flows, other states. That won't go down the system. I just want to clarify that. That won't, be, that won't be achieved from New South Wales into the future. That was a goal, that was an aspiration. Mm -hmm. And we're saying we cannot find that water without having a but major other states detrimental saying they could find impact some of that, on or, our towns. Or is it simply not going to flow now at this meeting that you just had? Um, that, uh, well, it, 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 from, from what I can see, other states don't have that water on the table. South Australia doesn't. Right. Um, Victoria is also challenged. Uh, it, it was um, a, a big goal uh, to, to be achieved, but we're saying New South Wales doesn't have the water to contribute to that goal. Okay. And where exactly are you sitting on this inquiry uh, of Mick Kilty's? Because I've also noted your comments coming out of the meeting that you were talking about uh, not necessarily giving up um, anything to do with your, your water sharing plans. Do you need to consult on that? Wouldn't more transparency be a good idea given some of the stories we've had about water in the system, including in New South Wales? 
Absolutely, Tom. We support what Mick Kelty is doing. Um, at, at having a look under the bonnets of our, our cars, for example, uh, going through our agency's books. We're happy for Mick Kelty to do that. He's got the powers that he needs right now to be able to do that work, and I encourage him to do that work. The more transparency, the more integrity we can put back into the system. But the water sharing plans is a separate issue. They're due to the Commonwealth by the 31st of December. We've done the work. We've got 20. Uh, Victoria's got five. South Australia have got three. If we had as much time as they have had, we wouldn't have to put them in for 45 years. But we're a, we're a very stressed state in terms of water. I want to make sure we get the consultation right. Really important that we go back out to the communities very genuinely, not submit the plans and then go to another talk okay. fest that our communities don't think matters. We want to be able to go back to those communities, have that uh, conversations, get through this drought, and that's what I've told the, the council today. Okay, and on the water licences themselves to do with New South Wales saying we can't give up uh, any more water, states do have a choice over distributing water licences so there can be higher security and fewer of them overall or lower security and more of them. Now South Australia has opted for the, the higher security and fewer of them. New South Wales has the lower security and they're in more abundance. So in that sense, isn't this plan working how it was supposed to be? New South Wales takes that option. That would always mean in a drought situation you'd be up against it. That is true, but that's also a positive thing for the environment. It's, it's been a historic way that we've grown um, crops and product in New South Wales. And whilst uh, a lot of uh, people might want to criticise cotton and rice growing in Australia, it's actually a great crop. It's a perennial crop. You only put it in if you've got a water allocation. Uh, but as we're seeing, major stresses with almond trees and, uh, and you know, that, that's having you know, a big drawdown on the river system. Mm. And you've got to keep the high security water up to those products. So I think we've got a good balance. I think New South Wales is appropriate, particularly in terms of the northern basin where we have large cotton um, and we have rice and we've got cotton in the southern basin as well but you only put those crops in when you've got the water and that is actually a pretty environmentally effective and efficient way to, to grow agriculture in this country. We are out of time in Linda Pavey. Appreciate your time. I'm sure this won't go away so perhaps we'll talk to you again during the summer. Thank you. And pray for rain please Tom.